Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Trenchless Tuesday. My name is Michael Rothenberg, and today I'm going to be taking you guys through a little bit of my 1,200-mile journey through the Rocky Mountains last week. So this first project here, uh, I was meeting with a new entity crew. They had mentioned that a previous slip lining project from a few years back, the pipe was never quite staying in place for whatever reason. So we went out in sight. It turns out that uh, the pipe was moving because there was never a bulkhead built and there was never grout injected in place. So um, it left the pipe sticking out quite a bit more than they would have liked, uh, which requires them to then come out with the equipment and push it back into place every time there's a major storm event. So it leaves the inlet looking like this. And so keep in mind, folks, that when we grout the pipe in place, it's not only to uh, secure it where it's at, but also to fill all the voids in the annual space as well as surrounding voids. So your structure reinforced the entire area, not to mention the pipe in this uh, project was snap tight, which is good for the next 100 years. For the second piece of the trip that I'll be sharing with you guys, uh, I experienced a little bit of every season here. I got some 70 degree weather as well as some 20 degree weather with some wicked winds. Uh, but whenever I'm coming through uh, town, I always like to offer culvert inspections and do the best I can to assess the condition. So you guys can see here, the inlet is pretty banged up and the picture doesn't quite do it justice, but there were multiple deflections throughout the pipe. Um, now I could not see the invert obviously, but the entity had mentioned that it is in fairly rough shape. And after this runoff season, they plan on taking care of it. Now in this project, it's likely gonna be a snap tight self-insulation. It's just a 16 inch pipe, maybe 70 feet long. So they'll probably be in and out of that project in uh, under two hours as far as the lining process goes. And then for the third project, uh, I was unfortunate a little bit too late. I showed up as they were ripping and replacing this culvert. Um, as you guys can see here, though, it was causing some major flooding issues. So um, it was not going to be a straightforward project like that previous picture I showed you uh, with a different entity. This one had a severely clogged culvert. Um, which leads to one of the points I want to share with you guys. When you're dealing with a project product like snap tight or channel line or spiralite, you get that Manning's of 0 0.009. And under certain flow conditions, that culvert is going to be considered uh, self-cleaning. So you won't have to deal with the debris buildup like they did in this case, which is at the end of the day going to be um, closing down a critical road and also uh, closing down for upwards of a week is what they're projecting. So if you guys have any questions about uh, routing or uh, culvert inspections or uh, hydraulics, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Other than that, I hope you all have a great Tuesday.